Hi, everybody. My name is Brad Dorn. I am a program manager for the agriculture program at NASA. And I, what I work on is trying to connect NASA research, NASA observations, satellites, technology to agriculture decisions. And I am really excited and love this topic. And one reason I like it so much is I've been working in this area my entire career uh, from the military, uh, my work at USDA, and then bringing it into NASA. And what you might not know is NASA's work in agriculture is about as old as the NASA as an agency. Uh, we, we actually started thinking about global agriculture information uh, back in the late 60s, early 70s. And when there was another crisis in uh, the, that, that time, the former Soviet Union, that really did uh, cause us to think about um, information, uh, global food supply information that was needed to help stabilize our markets. And, uh, and of course, at that time, uh, we didn't have all the information we need, but we had these things called satellites. And ever since then, uh, satellite data, you might not see it, uh, you might not know it, about it, but it's been behind a lot of the observation, a lot of the data that you see, whether it's in the markets, uh, the data that's provided to help assess food security, to assess food aid. Uh, NASA's been there helping uh, provide information, to provide information that, that gives us better understanding of the food supply, understanding where we may have crises, and all the way to today, uh, when we look at the crisis now in Ukraine and Russia, we're there uh, providing information on the situation, uh, the food security situation, and also on the impact it has on global food supply. So uh, this mission is really, really exciting and it's growing and expanding. Um, I don't have to tell any of you about the explosion of information that we have on all areas of life, but including the agriculture industry. And, uh, and one of the neat things is now, especially with our program that we have in place called NASA Harvest, we're getting more and more integrated with industry, with producer organizations, uh, with, uh, with local communities to be able to provide our information in such a way that this information can be used seamlessly uh, and in the background actually, so that what you see is just better uh, information on whether it's conditions, whether it's water use information, water supply, weather, uh, impacts of storms, prediction of storms and weather events. We're, we're there, we're providing information. This data is so essential because it helps us understand what's going, actually what's going on the ground. And I'll leave you with uh, one quote going back to our global mission is uh, a senior US, uh, USDA. Uh, manager at the time when I was there made the point of saying uh, satellite observations and what NASA provides is the only direct observation I have on food supply and uh, what that means is basically everything else is is calculated model it's information through second and third party sources so having that uh, confidence having that extra observation that's objective we understand it uh, we know what will be there today and tomorrow is really important especially in our environment today where we don't know how the food supply is going to respond we do, whether it's to events to supply chains uh, issues or weather in the future and so i really uh, Hope that all of you uh, reach out, learn more about our program. You'll see a website that you can go to uh, and uh, reach out to us to, to understand more. We have training uh, that you can take. Uh, so I hope all of you engage and I look forward to follow up discussions 
and uh, please enjoy your day. Thank you.